Hey everyone, LazyVire here. Welcome back to Wolfenstein the New Colossus. And today we're going to start on our Wyatt playthrough. And so that's going to be done on easy mode. And right here, yes, the can I play daddy mode. And the reason for this is that, well, you've seen me go through on Bring Em On, which is your normal mode. And I think seeing cut up pieces of how the Wyatt story difference uh, differentiates isn't going to be as interesting as seeing the full game, but I'm sure you don't want to see me do the exact same thing over again. So I'm going to be able to go through a bit faster with this, and what we're going to do is we're going to play this up to the Lost at Sea chapter, essentially, and then we're going to kind of finish both games around the same time, or both playthroughs. So that in mind, we will skip some of the early cutscenes that don't really have any bearing on anything, and uh, let's get going. It's agony to dream like this. Like this. And wake well, up to actually, reality. Fergus Reese, one of the old guard. We'll get a few seconds of Wyatt in here. Hey, you're tough as they come, you know. Jesus Christ. Until we make the choice, uh, we won't actually see Wyatt over Fergus. So, let's escape to quit. Your father won't be home tonight. Business over in Dallas. Oh, my boy. He hurt you so bad. Just rest and heal. I, I have soup and porridge. Which one would you like? And the difference between Don't soup and porridge. A choice for me. So, we're going to sacrifice Fergus. I have to remember that. I like how the game says both. So you know exactly what's going to happen. And uh, this is where we're going to get some slightly different stuff. Instead of uh, Fergus getting all angry, we get Wyatt getting angry, which is kind of weird. Oh gosh, his intestines are showing! Hold him in! Put your hands there! That's not good. Get him in the helicopter! Come on! Blessing. To have finished the work I was put on this earth to do. Surrounded by friends that love me. You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. Abate, we are out. Fire! Yes, madam! Continue is bleeding out! Go faster! Measures! And the great warmth washing over me. Tao! I think the sky is on fire. Please don't die. Caroline, he's dying! Press. He's turning me! Bombate, we'll need a gurney at the hangar bay. ETA 96. Death at the gates again. Howling my name. Let's go, Mr. Come on in, old buddy. Sorry I made you wait. <laughs> I do wonder at cutting some of this stuff out because it doesn't have much in the way of relevance to the Wyatt storyline. If I ever but I honestly feel like I should give this. There are some really great moments early in the game. It is an engagement between it has uh, been BJ and his mom for eight generations. <laughs> Can you imagine that, Billy? It is what they call an heirloom when you meet someone special. You will place this ring on her finger. It is worth a lot, this ring. And watch the dog. Do not tell your father about this ring. He will take it. He does not know about it. You know how he is. Sophia! Submissive My urination from the dog. Am I acquitted? At the sound of With BJ's dad. just. Good enough to witness the awe of heaven. You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. Oh no. Yeah, these are unskippable, by the way. I'm going to hell. Pull, pull, Bombate. Well, uh, I'll have to cut most of his intestines out. Whatever it takes, Ted, please. Stay with us, Blaskovich. You fight through this, and I promise you, I promise you everything will be all right. Kinderlach, leave me anyone for to give blood. Now! Everyone! We need blood donors right now! You listening? Line up here by the stick bay! Double time! It's right here, yeah! Fresh! Oh, I need light! Stay down, 
keep quiet. He's coming. There's Ophelia here and there. And Sophia, racism no, time. He does not deserve this. You know he does not. Don't bullshit so, me. If you want a good example of how the playthroughs might be a little bit different, you might have noticed there that Wyatt did not command specific individuals who are outside the room to line up to give blood. Uh, instead, he kind of, uh, you know, just said, hey, come help us. He's not quite the commanding presence Fergus is. And if you wonder why Fergus was talked about as like a potential uh, leader of the revolution in the first part, it's because he is a bit more commanding. Uh, I think they'll say the same thing about Wyatt when we get through the part where Caroline dies. But, uh, this cannot happen! It, Wyatt just does not make sense as a leader. And I think that's part of the reason why they bring in Grace, who is much more of a leader, whereas, uh, Fergus is kind of a angry man, and Wyatt is a little bit, I don't know, not naive. I mean, he's in his 40s by this point. But, like... I clean. He's not. I he's not a commanding presence. To the field. You are and you know, BJ has basically said he doesn't plan on leading by anything more than example. Should have shut down the business. But my anyways, um, yeah, the Wyatt stuff is an interesting change, everything. just because you get a different weapon, which we won't see for a little bit. But Wyatt does bring something completely different to the table. Uh, so that is going to be a really fun part of this. I also have not played this on anything below Bring Em On. Uh, to be honest with you, if you go in there and try to do this at a higher level, which I started at at one point and gave up on pretty quickly uh, as a test playthrough, it, it can get pretty bad, especially towards the end game. What is it with you, damn? Even then, if you don't go pick up all of your possible upgrades and everything, you can really put yourself into a bad spot, which is why we're doing that as part of the You're just a damn millstone, sticking your nose into my business instead of handling your own. If you can't raise a boy right, I'll do it for you. Get here we go. You great bitch. Hiding in the closet. Make me sick to keep them coming, candy ass. That all you got, boy? Alright, it's three down. Now let's just get caught here. I guess, uh. So goddamn weak. Rip does not get weaker. As, they will break you, they will make as you the easy mode goes on. And what are you gonna do about it? You can't fight to save your life. Well, at least I can teach you how to take it. One of the things I will say is that I do like the sort of graphical filter there uh, that you get during the Texas flashback sequences. are in motion. The tides are turning. The Chrysal Circle is rising. I will need you by my side when we make our move. Can you feel the kicking? Uh, one thing I am going to mention real quick here is that we are going to shoot the dog this time. Uh, before, I aimed off of the dog, and that gave us a little bit of a sequence that you normally wouldn't see. But this time, we're going to shoot Bessie right in the face. Good girl. Yes, Sadly. You such a good girl. Um, one of the other things I, I do want to point out is that this game just did get updated uh, in life, yesterday with some new DLC and a patch that did some things. I don't know how that's going to interact with this. It's kill or be killed. The old and the weak are doomed. All manners of scum and sickly minds and dirty bodies and cockroaches doing everything in their power to rob the white man of what he's earned. It's on us to straighten out the queer. It's on you. Finger on the trigger. That's right. Now, shoot her. Shoot her! Yeah. So you don't get the fall over sequence. You just see the blood splatter. All right. Just remember, my boy. It will end better than it. Here we go. It's you. 
Take this. They're looking for you. Oh, shit! Here they come. All right. This is how you go down, Nazi. You ain't getting it back. Wow, okay. Huh. That was weird. There, so they seem to be uh, slightly less, uh, I don't want to say aggressive, by any means, but they're not taking the chances to shoot me that I think they should take, and uh, they're not very accurate. Seems to be the main point here. On normal, I think I got nailed by both of these guys. Hang on, on you. I'm on my way. All right, I can't go up the stairs. I can. Playing normally uh, for so long a time has uh, made me think of it differently. to talk to set very long oh, it is well. you're hunting me got that backwards lady I'm hunting you All right. let's just get these guys to go through the uh, traps You are. You do what you have to do to keep everyone alive till I get there. Keep everyone alive so BJ can make other people dead is kind of the name of the game here, isn't it? Ah, we'll just say. Cool. Get the environmental kill uh, point. Yeah, not much to say about this. I'm wondering how the uh, sneaking section towards the, uh, the midpoint where we're going through the uh, pulley area is going to go. Where am I getting hit from? Is the guy behind me still alive? Yeah. Ooh. Man, I, uh, I should have been dead there. I really should have been dead. That's uh, some amateur mistake uh, bullshit I just pulled on myself there. Got some helmets. Come on. Oh well. Up, up, up. Alright. I guess I didn't move fast enough there. Come on. Now he decides to come through. Timing, man. Timing is uh, bad on these guys. points. So one of the things that the uh, patch notes will tell you happened is that they did modify, supposedly, the hit markers to make it a bit more clear when you're getting hit and where from. Uh, based on my experience right out of the gate, I'm going to say that's not true. Yeah, 
Yeah, the, if I played like this normally, I, I would have been murdered about a dozen times by now. No, that's a lie. Yeah. Nice reminder that yes, uh, environmental stuff's still here. Don't go backwards. Ignore the pain. Find a way to reverse the belt and get up to the sail platform elevator. It's really weird that there's no uh, unarmed melee attack that just, you know, you can punch stuff. That you have to actually have the hatchets before you can do any melee attack at all. And I guess. Oh. I do like the use of the conveyor belt and get there. I feel like I have more, a uh, much larger ammo pool to start with here as part of easy mode. That might just be uh, like a weird bias on my part. I don't know. And that should do it for most of these guys. Could always use ammo. And a croissant, why not? Good. Full on ammo. Full on health. Yeah, going back down to the 50 health, 100 armor thing is so weird. Um, I was uh, I thought they would actually uh, give you larger numbers than this for easy mode, but apparently not. So, got all that out of the way. Cleared this out in pretty short order, if I do right. say so myself. Belt reversed. Up we go. is, as always, fantastic, even in easy mode. Let's go finish off this level. Get off my head! William, are you alright? So I prayed for you to wake up. So that we're only going to see Caroline standing over Ferguson or uh, Wyatt instead of Fergus here. So we're going to skip this to get right here, where we'll actually start getting different cutscenes because Wyatt's in the game now. You think your hero, William Joseph Blaskovich? This plays out largely the same, however. <laughs> Na, 
let me tell you. You're not. Only the degenerate rats of the slum admire you. The filthy dregs, festering in the ghetto. But once they see you, this will change. <laughs> I shall put you on international television. Look, everybody. <laughs> is, <laughs> is, is this how a hero looks like? <laughs> a crippled wretch of a man being in a tomb. <laughs> Everyone will see what a useless joke you are. Los, los. Ah, thank you. Oh, you are in Kampo. Bow your head. Don't be silly. The resistance does not bow. Ah, oh, that's one way. Mutter! Sikun! Sei still! Ich arbeite! Ich dachte, du würdest sie freilassen. Aber das tue ich doch. Ich befreie ihren Kopf von ihren Schultern. Aber du hast gesagt, dass Aber du sie... Du hast, hast gesagt! Du machst deine Leibesübung und du verzichtest auf den Zucker. Und was haben meine Männer in deinem Zimmer gefunden, als sie es durchsucht haben? Schokolade, Kekse, Limonade, Bonbons. Ganz abzusehen von den kranken Sachen, die du in dein Tagebuch geschrieben hast. Du willst sie befreien? Gut. Nimm. Nimm! Mach schon. Befrei ihren Kopf von ihren Schultern. Du hast mein Tagebuch gelesen. Lenk dich ab! Köpfe sie! Oder du kannst dich auf was gefasst machen. Los! Los, los! Los, 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 los! Stop! For God's sake, stop! Sag zu! Ich kann nicht, Mutter. Mach schon! Nein! Ich kann das nicht! Ein Tagebuch. Mit Perversion. Und verräterischen Worten voll schmieren. Das kannst du! Einige davon waren sogar auf Englisch! Seite für Seite ergießt sich dein widerwärtiger Geist! Wenn du aufgehst wie eine dicke, fette Seekuh! Verstehst du nicht, in was für eine Lage du mich bringst? Ich bin verpflichtet, das zu melden! Du hattest kein Recht, es zu lesen! Caroline Becker. Leader of the Chryso Circle. The criminal mastermind. Never give up, Blasco Rich. Never give in to these people. I think not. I think you're just another monster! Man! Never not going to be shocking. This. Fucking How disgusting. Strange. One moment she was here, and now she's gone. Were these eyes ever filled with a lover's gaze? Do you think? Kiss, kiss, kiss. Try. Was ist hier komisch? Willst du auch ein bisschen, wie du es in deinem Tagebuch geschrieben hast, auf deine dicken, fetten Wangen? Oder vielleicht lieber hier unten, ha? Zwing mich nicht, zwischen dir und meiner Überzeugung zu wählen. Denn du wirst verlieren. Every Nun, time. Zu dir. Oh, to another friend of yours, yes? Stop! No more of this! Mutter, bitte hör auf, es reicht! Aus dem Weg! Nein! Ah. Ah. Mister! Ah. 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 So 
So I thought it was interesting that Wyatt loses an ear rather than an arm. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. I also like that he was a little slower on the draw than Fergus was when uh, he went through the situation. For the same fights. about your friend. I'd rather not talk about it. But I just thought... To... Please. So yeah, I do like that Wyatt has a very different approach to Sigrun as, uh, than Fergus does. Keep your shit together, Wyatt. Need you to step up now. But what we're, uh, we're going to do is we're basically going to... Things you can do with a hatchet. And a Nazi. I just wish that fit into the fucking thread title. So we're going to cut this one here, start up again, get to section F in the next video. And uh, that is going to put us into basically brand new territory, new weapon, all that other good stuff. So I will see you then. Bye.